Hello, all of you incredible YouTube viewers from across the internet, and welcome back to another video. I am incredibly excited for today's video. We're going to be talking about an AI art website, and a few of these AI art websites have been springing up lately, but I do believe this is the best one for several reasons, which we will get into later. As we all know, the AI art space has been evolving so rapidly, especially this year. Of course, in the beginning of the year, we had the release of DALL-E, which was a very closed beta, and it's been opening up more and more over time. It's a very powerful model. We also had Midjourney, which has also become much, much more powerful over this year. And of course, the release of the open source Stable Diffusion not too long ago, maybe a month and a half ago, that really has shaken up the AI art space. Anyways, AI art is being created by everyone everywhere more so than ever and people have been sharing them on art sharing websites stuff like that the only thing is though a lot of art websites now actually have been reportedly i saw this on my discord by the way which you guys can join with the link in the description a lot of websites that have hosted art traditionally now are starting to ban ai art from them and saying that you're not allowed to post this ai artwork because it's too confusing for the users of the site to know whether something was AI generated or, you know, actually drawn out by hand, for example. And since AI art uses text prompts to generate, a lot of people that find AI art out there want to know what the prompt was to generate, what AI was used to generate, for example. So this is where open art steps into the game here. This is where you go to share your AI art. And it really makes sense that a lot of these websites have been springing up lately. There's a few that I've talked about before, but like I said earlier, I do believe this is the best one at the moment. And full disclosure, I was actually contacted by OpenArt to sponsor this video. So yes, this video is sponsored by OpenArt, but I want you guys to know that the integrity of the quality of products that I'm going to sponsor is very, very important to me. And I would never sponsor a product that I don't truly believe in. And I think you guys will find this website very fair and useful. And of course, the link will be down in the description below. As you can see, it's in beta here. This website is being updated very frequently. It's evolving and changing. There's upcoming features that they want to add, which I will be talking about in this video. Stuff that's going to make it feel more like a social media platform but there already are a lot of really great features that you don't find from normal non-AI based social media. So of course, open art search 10 million plus of AI art and prompts generated by Dolly 2, Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion. So those are the three big boys right now in the AI art generation space. Right here, we've got a search field so you can search up different prompts and different keywords to help you get new ideas to generate AI art for yourself, of course. And as you can see, when we scroll down, we've got four sections here, Dolly 2, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and Community tab. And as you can see, we have a bunch of images here shared by various users. And of course, if I want to see any of these in particular, like this uh, soft drink can, I can just click on it right here and it brings it up to me in full resolution so we can see it in all of its glory. I could also right click and save image as here in my browser if I wanted to save this image. And as you can see, what's nice here is we've got the prompt for this image right here as well. So if I wanted to recreate a very similar image in Dolly 2, for example, or I want to try it out in a different AI like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, I can just copy the prompt right here. Very simple, very easy. As you can see, you can choose whether or not to share your prompt. And that's really up to the original artist or creator's desire, you know, whether they want to share that prompt with everyone else. But I have found, you know, 99% of the people on this site are going to be sharing their prompts with other users. So if you see something you like, odds are you're going to be able to copy the prompt. Essentially, under each tab, we can just scroll down and keep seeing various images that were uploaded by time. It's easy to tell now which AI made which art. So this is obviously all Mid Journey Art, for example, is right under its own category. A very nice way to organize all of this different AI art. And this community tab, I believe, is going to be expanded upon in the future, but we're going to talk about that later when I talk about upcoming features to this website. And of course, they've also got a Discord. So now I want to cover this search field here in Open Art. This is where we can, of course, type anything in, but you'll also notice content based search 
powered by OpenAI's Clip model. So OpenAI's Clip model is used in stuff like Dolly Mini and Dolly 2 to help sort all of this information out. So yeah, the AI is actually integrated into the website to help you search for imagery better, which is very interesting. I like that it's not just some basic old fashioned search model. They went the full nine yards. We've got an open AI clip model based search. The clip model helps it understand the image content you're specifically looking for. The search is able to understand complicated sentences, not just basic keywords, although playing around with keywords still for me at least is very fun. And that's really what this filters is here. As you can see, we can expand this filter area. We can see different formats, styles, perspectives. So if I want to see bokeh, for example, I click on it, it automatically searches images in Dolly 2 here that have Boca. So that's more of just the keywords here. So we've got some big prompts, some small prompts here, just everything with Boca under Dolly 2. And of course, it can also search for Boca in Mid Journey as well. So this is only Mid Journey Boca, or I can go to Stable Diffusion and do the same thing. And it's interesting to see the different results generated by different AIs uh, under the same keyword, and you can really compare and contrast. So I want to play around with this little search function here really quick, and then we'll get into how to post your art and make an account. Of course, as you can see, my little lemon character is already up there. I do have an account here with open art. Let's go ahead and search for, I mean, I think a lot of you guys are going to be able to guess this. We're going to search for a lemon character wearing sunglasses. So we'll just do my basic lemon character prompt, see what we get, hit enter here. And as you can see, these are all the Dolly 2 ones with 11 characters. I haven't seen this one before. This is a very nice one. Let's we'll take a look at this one. I do like this art style here. Let's see what the prompt was. A photorealistic talking rock and roll pear. Okay, that's not even a lemon. That's a pear. Oh my god. This is like some kind of lemonism here. I, I assumed he was a lemon when he was a pear. Anyways, as you can see, there aren't really many keywords in that image that are directly corresponding in what I searched, but the clip-based searching algorithm was able to snuff out that I was looking for a fruit wearing sunglasses, a yellow fruit in particular, and noticed what this image was, and it's actually very similar. I, I, in fact, I even thought it was a lemon at first. That search algorithm is very powerful, and it's AI-based, which I think fits perfectly with the AI-generated art and really finding what you're looking for. So you can very quickly, easily, and accurately discover the sort of AI art that you are searching for and really give you some AIs to keep generating on your own or just find cool images to remix. But as you can see, we also get many, many normal prompts. This is one that I actually really liked. I saw this earlier on this website. I really like this generation. And I was so surprised to see how simple the prompt is. 3D render of Gudetama by Sanrio. And I'm not sure what a Gudetama is. It might be some sort of a food. It looks like a food type of deal. I really like this art style. So I was able to capture the keywords in this prompt that help collect that art style. A giant orange with sunglasses in the middle of Chicago. Either way, yeah, giant orange, not lemon, where other AI searching sites such as Lexica, which is only stable diffusion, by the way, doesn't include any other ones. They don't have this type of AI searching that really helps you find really, really cool and interesting ideas that you would never have seen otherwise. This is incredible. This is an amazing generation. I've this is up there for me. Cactus and colorful sunglasses with straw hat sticker illustration. That is a banger. I love that right there. And I like that now. I have the prompt. I know how it was created because of this website. And of course, let's try this prompt out in Mid Journey. A lot of the same stuff, a lot of different fruits wearing sunglasses. I really do love this advanced search and its ability to just find new and interesting stuff. But yeah, I am definitely a fan. Ooh, I like this pumpkin one. This is very photorealistic. Well done, Mid Journey. This is incredible. What was the prompt for this? Not a very... Oh, it is a long prompt. Hyperrealistic, cute, happy bunny, straw hat, large pumpkin. Yeah. Take a look at this character. This is something real creative from Mid Journey right here. This is, this is nice. I really like the detailed lighting and everything in that. That is incredible right there. And finally, we'll check this prompt out here in Stable Diffusion. A lot of the lemon characters I've noticed in Stable Diffusion do look very similar. Here we're getting some pineapple wearing cool sunglasses. 
Very interesting stuff. I'm surprised by the amount of minions I'm seeing. Anyways, yeah, that is the search function. It's not your average search function, that's for sure. Anyways, folks, let's go over and check out the account side of this, actually posting your own images onto OpenArt, which of course you can do. So here is my account right here. Signing up is actually very easy and very simple. They actually assigned me my own username, but you can see that it actually displays as Matt VidPro. I've got zero art, zero followers, and zero bookmarks right now. By the way, I think I did forget to actually explain the bookmarking feature. If I see something that I particularly like in here, which is, this is a very nice feature. I, I can't believe I skimmed over it. We can, of course, actually bookmark something. So if I say I really like this image of this dog jumping around with what looks like potatoes, another peanut costume, apparently, I really like this image. I can just click on the bookmark right here, and now it is bookmarked. And I can go over into my profile here and check it out, and all of the art is saved in here. So this is a really nice place to save and collect your AI art. You don't have to have it stored on your drive and your computer, something annoying like that. You can save all three of the main AIs, by the way, right here on this website, which is super useful. And I can view and save everything right from here on my account. Of course, people can also follow you and you can post your own art. And I can go ahead and click the post button if I want to post something here. So if it's Dolly 2, you can post a link to it. So we'll go ahead and post this art that I created in yesterday's video. And what I'll do is I'll click the share button up here. I'll go back into open art. I will paste the link in here and it automatically grabs the image for me. But if I was to upload Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, I would drag and drop the imagery right in here. And it automatically grabs the prompt from the link as well, which is really nice. And I can title the art for myself. I'll just say, This lemon is very chill. And I can pick the AI model, either Dolly 2, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, or others. And I can do a little description if I so happen to want to either. And I just click the publish button and now it has been posted. And if I click on this, it will bring me right to this image that I had posted. And now it's uploaded in the system. So very simple, easy to upload art. So now that we have talked about all the main features that are on the website at the moment, let's talk about the upcoming future stuff. As I said in the beginning of the video, they are updating this website very frequently. They want to be the number one spot for you guys to trade and discuss different AI prompts and different AI art. They want to introduce search by image, which is very interesting. So you'll be able to drag a specific image and look for very similar AI generated imagery based on what you submitted. So like if I had an image of a cat or something, I want to see a bunch of other cats or tabby cats, for example, I can post that image in there and it will bring me a bunch of different cat related images. So I think that's a very good feature that could really help a lot of us find similar art to the art we've already created. New data is being added every day to the website. They want to add an upvote and downvote feature to this site so you can upvote your liked AI creations and I assume under the community tab and stuff like that they'll have trending images where you can see highly rated AI imagery so you'll just have a nice collection of really highly rated imagery that you can see for probably the different weeks or months or whatever time frame. They want to create bookmark collections so you're able to bookmark a bunch of different images and have it as its own separate collection not just all in your one bookmarks. I guess this feature is going to be similar to Pinterest boards. And also, this is a very interesting upcoming feature. They want to provide high quality curated templates and presets of prompts for free so you can use them to create your own. So basically a free version of promptbase.com. And this whole website is completely free, by the way, for you guys to use. So there's really no upfront cost to using the site. It's just a nice social media place for you guys to join and use specifically for AI art. And if, yeah, if you guys don't know what prompt base is, it's essentially a place where you can buy different prompts to use in different AIs. So it'll, the prompt will be locked behind a paywall and you have to pay to unlock the prompt. So this is basically what they're trying to create free prompt base. So these are curated templates, like I said earlier, they do want to integrate stable diffusion directly into the site itself, which is awesome. You can generate AI art in the website itself. Similar to Night Cafe, Night Cafe has already integrated Stable Diffusion. They kind of have a social media aspect to Night Cafe as well, but I don't think it's as good as Open Arts. And they also want to add other social features like comments, of course, so you can comment on other people's work and stuff like that. 
and they also want to add more different types of rewards to motivate people to upload their artwork like a token system and they also want to host art challenges and contests so yeah this is all really great upcoming features that I like to hear. All of this is free for you guys to use, and it really sounds like open art has a great base already for a nice social media, an AI arts-based social media. And one thing I would really love to see them do one day would be something like an iPhone app that you can download or an Android app you can download so I can access this website right from my phone and upload and possibly generate stuff right from my phone. I think that would be awesome. Anyways, folks, I really, really like this website so far. I like its capabilities. I like the direction it's headed in. And it really does seem to be focused on this AI art community that we have all been a part of now for the past year or so, even less than a year. Um, but yeah, if you want to get connected with my specific community, please make sure you join my Discord with the link in the description. And yeah, check out Open Art with the link in the description below. I'm at Video Productions. Thank you so much for watching and thank you, Open Art, for sponsoring this video. I like what I see so far with this website.